Oh man, you guys won't believe what I did. I got a ton of ant bites from it too, but you guys will die when you see what I captured on film. In my yard by a wall is a group of small variegated banana trees. And within one of the trees, I spotted an active weaver ant nest. Now if you're new to ants, weaver ants are one of the coolest ant species on the planet, forming their nests within trees and shrubs, using silk from their larvae to glue leaves together. When I spotted the weaver ant nest in my yard, I freaked out from joy, and also because they were nesting so low to the ground, low enough for me to attempt something I've never before tried to do, but always wanted to try, stick my camera into a weaver ant nest. In the past, the weaver ant nests I would come across were always too high up, not the ideal shape to insert my camera into, or the ant colonies were a bit too scary and large for me to actually get in. But this small banana tree in my yard was at just the right height. The colony seemed small, and look, the perfect entry point. I could stick my camera in here and move in. And so, I went for it and ripped a tiny hole into the edge of the weaver ant nest. But guys, I was totally wrong thinking the colony was small because what I ended up seeing inside the nest of the weaver ants blew my mind and will definitely blow yours too. Let's watch the insanity that ensued this week when I stuck my camera into an aggressive colony of weaver ants here on the Ants Canada Ant Channel. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. Welcome to the AC family. Enjoy. AC family, what you're about to see is probably some of the coolest footage I've ever captured as far as wild ants go. And it was an actual dream to finally peek into a wild weaver ant nest. But guys, do stay tuned until the end because I have a very important question for you regarding this weaver ant colony, whose cool home we're going to be visiting now. All right, so before we go ahead and peek inside, there are a couple things I need to orient you guys with first that you need to know and see. So here's the plan, guys. This nest invasion will consist of three movements, deeper and deeper into the nest. So to not alarm the ants as best I can. In other words, I'm not going to just move in carelessly, causing damage to the colony, and also to myself when they totally launch an attack, but will instead move in slowly once, wait for the ants to settle down, then move in again slowly, wait for the ants to settle down again, then do it again. If the ants ever went into full-out attack mode, of course we would abandon all operations and run for our lives. But I knew I didn't want the situation to escalate to this point. We needed to respect the ants and be as non-invasive and destructive as possible. Now this was the main entrance to the nest, but I knew I didn't want to enter through here because it was way too heavily guarded by their larger guards who would release an emergency pheromone and completely set the colony off in a hijinks. As mentioned, we would enter at the tip. Now, when we actually enter the nest, guys, you will notice that weaver ant workers come in varying sizes, from really tiny to really huge. But the biggest of the ants is, of course, the queen, who in this species looks like this. Gorgeous, absolutely massive, and a bright green, yellow, or brown in color. So do keep an eye out for the queen when we enter. Lastly, I would like to remind all of you watching that I am a professional. I guess, but I am very used to working with weaver ants. I've owned colonies of them in the past, and I know what I'm doing. Kinda. But if you happen to come across a weaver ant nest, please do yourself a favor and leave them alone. They don't have stingers like fire ants, but because they are such huge ants, they can bite human skin and spray formic acid into the bites, making for a very painful experience. And indeed, I suffered a bit to get the perfect shots you are about to see now. Okay, C family, are you ready? Let's move in. I took the point of the banana leaf, ripped a hole, and inserted my camera into it. It took a while to get the angle I wanted, but this is what my camera saw. We were in. And then I adjusted the settings to brighten things up and was absolutely stunned by what my camera captured. Wow, look at the ants carrying the brood. So awesome. I adjusted the camera angle again to get a better vantage point into the nest.
Now guys, get ready for it. Fixing the focus on my camera. In three, two, one. Wow. All right, let's move in. I was happy to see that the ants didn't seem to mind that a huge camera had just entered the nest and were even starting to pile their brood right up to the lens. Fixing the settings again, and I was astounded at how large the colony was and how extensive the nest was. All right, so let's hang out here for a bit and look around. Ooh, don't you just love being in places you know you aren't supposed to be? Let's just remain calm and let the ants get back to their work. So there's a lot happening here. I see workers carrying pupae, but I do notice that the entire space is divided in half by a lining of web. And it looks like they're keeping the younger brood in that upper chamber. We won't go up there as it looks like it will be too tight for us to fit. Now one thing I notice from just this is it looks like the larger workers are also carrying the brood inside the nest. So this confirms that the rumor that only the tiny workers take care of the young inside the nest is just a myth. So awesome to see and verify that now. All right, so because the workers seem very at ease currently, I think it's time we move deeper into the nest. Shall we? Slowly and carefully, I move my camera deeper inside, trying my best not to destroy any of the webbing structures all around, and of course, to not alarm the ants. Wow, man, we are so in right now, and the ants are totally okay with us being around. I totally did not expect this at all, and the view just keeps on getting better and better. The ants don't even flinch when checking on my lens. So cool to actually be here. POV, you and I are members of this colony, and this is our grand home. What do you guys think of it? Now, one advantage these weaver ants have over other species of ants, like the regular ants that nest in soil, is that within a living plant, the ants can benefit from the humidity the leaves release from transpiration, as well as the fresh oxygen the leaves give off as a byproduct from photosynthesis. Also, the carbon dioxide the ants give off is taken in by the plant also used for photosynthesis. These ants have a mutualistic symbiosis with the plant, with the plant sacrificing a few of its leaves to provide a home for the weaver ants. Safe from floods during the torrential rainstorms and typhoons that happen in my country, and in exchange, the ants protect the plant from herbivores, caterpillars, and other animals that may come along and kill and or eat the plant. All right, now where was that queen? Let me know if at any time you guys spot her. I don't see her yet. So let's try our luck and attempt to move in deeper one last time. Now this is where things got crazy. This last push into the nest would be the furthest I could possibly insert my camera without my entire camera and face actually inside the nest. I adjusted the angle and moved in slowly. My heart was racing, but I was not prepared for what happened next. Now, as I attempted to move in at one point, I readjusted, and as I went in to move, an ant bit me in a place where the sun don't shine. Screaming while trying to adjust the camera and tripod, I sort of slipped and lost momentary control, causing the lens to plunge deeply into the nest, and quite roughly too, which to my horror, completely set the ants inside the nest off. The ants scrambled around to relocate brood, but when I picked the ant that bit me from its place and everything began to settle down again, AC family, what I saw from our new vantage point in the deepest regions of the nest left my jaw on the floor. Wow, this view into the nest was just insane. The opportunity to see inside a weaver ant nest like this was like no other. I felt honored, completely moved, and just overall left in awe at the sight of all these weaver ants, just chilling out as they normally would within their nest. Amazing to appreciate the colony, this great big family of ants, in their natural state, nesting. We were lucky to be able to spend this moment with the ants, and it instilled in me such a deep respect and reverence for them, like I've never felt before. Weaver ants are important players in the ecosystems as they are avid hunters of insects. 
they aggressively defend and protect the trees and shrubs they inhabit, and the fact that this colony had decided to move into my yard, or the queen rather, filled my heart with such joy. Thank you, Weaver Ants. And when I felt I had seen enough, I moved my camera out of the nest. In terms of the queen, I didn't see her, but maybe you guys did. Whatever the case, she was hiding pretty well. I think we slightly damaged one little section, but that will be repaired in just a few hours. And for the most part, we'll be leaving things as we left them. As for this hole in which we entered, I tied it up, which will help the ants with repairing this site. Overnight, this too will be sealed again with webbing. And that was that. Wasn't that super cool, AC family? I have a whole new outlook on these ants after having seen them inside their nest. Now at the start of the video, I mentioned I'd be needing your help. So with the colony so accessibly low, I was thinking, should we try keeping these ants as pets? They could just be our outdoor colony whom we could visit whenever we wanted, and feed as well. Or I could dig up this banana tree, place it in a pot, and relocate it into our ant room in a setup. Or we could even attempt a hybrid of both where we keep the colony in a setup in our ant room and then fixate a tube leading outside the house so the ants could enter and leave as they please to hunt for insects outside. That might be pretty cool. Let me know in the comments. And if you say we should keep them as pets, let's give them a name. Leave your name suggestions for this colony in the comments and once named, we can add them to our collection of ant colonies, watching them grow bigger and bigger over time. And guys, please do remember to hit the like button as it really helps a lot to let YouTube know you enjoy these ant videos and that they're worth sharing to new audiences. And hit that subscribe button to join our ever-growing AC family. Thank you all for watching and supporting the ants. It's ant love forever. Hope you can subscribe to the channel as we upload every Saturday at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video to help us keep making more. It's Ant Love forever. Mm.